All right, class session. Phones away, Chromebooks away. What is said in this class stays in this class. Period. Thanks. Are you good? Not. Yes. Oh, it's always supposed to say that. I don't care. Um, you don't laugh at anybody. You don't bully. You don't because what's my role about that? There's not a bit. Of course. <laughs> this is Cassidy. Hey. <laughs> Marissa. Absolutely. Okay. Uh huh. Bye bye. All right, Marissa. You're going to side A. You're going home. So when I look up, everybody needs to have their digital devices put away. So you gotta go to side A first. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. What is said in here stays in here. If somebody is speaking their truth about a question and discussing and you laugh, what happens? You get sent to the office. You get sent to that office and you have to do an alternative assignment, which is to write me a two page essay on why you, you're you sitting in there doing what you're doing. Facts. And you go write work the same thing three times. <laughs> okay. I'm so pretty and socked that I ain't even going to trip. Yeah. Oh, All right. Y'all are goofy. Okay. So now that we've got that established. All right. So I want to put that phone away, child. I can't even see it. Good luck. I'm going to message your dad right now in front of you. All right. So what did you guys think? Did you guys see all of the nominees for prom court? Like yes. all their posters and stuff? Oh, yeah, God. Okay. So what did you guys Ooh, think lady. about? Did you learn anything from any of the nominees? Yeah. What? Did you? Yeah. What did you learn? There was a gender fluid runner for prom king. Yes. And what does that mean? I don't know. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> how many of you? I was confused. Does anybody know? For the office of sexual No. No. That's not at all what that means. Brother? Um, all right. So, what? So, nope. So basically, and this was one of her flyers, and I thought this was really cool because if you don't know about something, how are you going to ask about it? You know, you might not know who to ask. You might not, well, and this is why she did what she did. So she put in a few facts. So, what is being gender fluid? Does anybody in here know? You don't exactly go under one gender, it's like fluid, it's like water. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, so this is how they God. describe themselves. So, oh, country. So it says, what is being gender fluid? So am I a boy or a girl? Well, sometimes the best way to understand my gender identity is to stop trying to categorize it. I use they, them pronouns. Does everybody know what yes. their pronouns are? Yes. Okay, just making sure because you don't need it. Wait, huh? Exactly. Um, and then it says, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me respectively. So I think that her, them, it's hard for me, I don't know. They, they, they um, being open about it just lends some more education for you guys so that it's not as, I guess, different anymore. So does anybody else, did anybody else learn anything? Did they talk to them? To them? Or ask questions? Do you think that people that are maybe gender fluid or, um, you know, not as you guys are, do you think that our community as a school accepts everybody? Yes. 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 Hi. <laughs> Short. Uh -huh. Ethan. What? Nurse's office. I don't want to go. I don't need it anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, where were we? Talking about the uh, them and they. And like them being accepted. 
Okay, so I want to hear about what you guys have witnessed, like in the school, maybe in the hallway or even nothing. Nothing at all. Ion. Go ahead. Personally, as being a trans male, I have experienced a lot of acceptance from teachers, staff, and surprisingly, the majority of students, but there are the occasional people who know me from previous schools or just happen to know I'm trans and they do laugh and they talk about me behind, like loud enough for me to hear, but they try to keep it private mm -hmm. yeah. and that sucks and i think a lot of it sometimes is if you don't understand something that's where the hate comes in you have to educate yourself on these things because at the end of the day we're all people and if they're not harming you then what's the point you're just people creating just, that hate cycle they're they are well, the thing there is. <laughs> what you say? I mean, some people are confused. There's a lot of people that don't know about that, and there's a lot of people that just don't know how to react to stuff like that. That don't mean you make fun of it, though. But that, and that's why, you know, so I believe it's also a family thing too, on however they may have grew up as well, on how they might think the way they think. Yeah. So. Yeah, they are conditioned. So the way that you're brought up and the thoughts and ideals of your parents and guardians don't necessarily have to be yours. Oh God. I mean, look at what's happened in this world in the past five years even. So many different things. So what are some big events that have happened in the past five years? Uh, COVID. Uh, COVID. COVID. Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter movement. What's been going on? We just fucking... My favorite well, I know, but so, but because it's been more out in the open and televised and all that, it's actually educating others who might not know what it is, know what it is have been raised around other races. I mean, people who live out in the country that don't even like get into the cities. Boondocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's. Where it's, the boondocks come from? Boondocks. That's what they call them sometimes, the boondocks. Yeah. So it's all about educating yourself and knowing who to ask. Daniel, put that phone away before I take it. Put it away. The reason why I have you guys put your phones away during this time is so you don't record anything because what? Everything in this room stays in this room. Thank you. Daniel, this happened. Yes. Look at it. Okay, so what about, like, let's say. Somebody okay. says, oh, that's gay in class. Do you guys stand up and say something about that? No. It, de it depends. depends. My, my business. Some, know, sometimes sometimes it'd be like, like it's uh, somebody playing with each other and they say, oh, they're gay. But if it's like, okay, if it's Hang like, on. like some, 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 some people, that when they say hey, they be playing, some people, they be for real, like, what's going on? So somebody yeah. might, they might think they're gay and they really gay. If it's directly towards somebody, then yeah. I mean, yeah. If it's like, if you're playing around, it's like, that, 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 that ain't my business. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? So, have you guys ever heard me address it? Yeah, yeah. You just you just even if we play. Exactly, because it's not playful. That is somebody's identity. Yeah. If that makes sense, that's somebody's identity, and you're using it in a way that it's no, not used or supposed to be used. So, what are some things that you could say when you hear that? Chill out. Huh? Lock in Fox, we got. Oh, girl, let me go to go. Let me go to go. Are y'all seeing another one? What? I feel like, what do you do? Yeah, or what do I say? Find another word. Get out. I don't say get out. Find another word, or I'll throw a thesaurus at you. Find another word. Thesaurus. What about thesaurus? Oh, thesaurus. Oh, what the thesaurus. word means? It's a thesaurus. Thesaurus. It's a thesaurus. It's another version of the dictionary. It's a book. It gives you a word and then it gives you other words. What's a hey? What's another word that I don't like? Y'all use retarded. Yes. Well, yeah, that's just. That's a gender. It should be pretty and chocolate. 
<laughs> okay, so what are some other things that teachers you think could do to educate students? So let's say you are put in charge of creating a Tuesday SEL lesson because yesterday's SEL lesson was the worst. I was going to sleep. Y'all can text in your sleep. I don't know why they were have properly send a text message. They send out emails if you don't do it, but I don't know. Okay. But for a while, would they be tested? Okay, but wait. So what? You're responsible for creating an SEL lesson based around this. How can teachers facilitate education to all students? Like, what would be a fun, engaging lesson? Something like this, where it's an open topic. Open discussions. Do you think that open discussions work in every class? No. 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 Some kids in the class make you feel comfortable enough to have open yeah. So whose responsibility do you think it is to create a sense of community and safety? The teacher the, the, the teacher starts off like if the teacher starts off with comfortable to a student, like you gotta earn teacher respect for you to be like talk around her like this. I mean, so like, they, like, like we have with you. If they do it, I feel I feel like teachers if they try to do it, they don't use it like as another lesson, like a regular like math lesson type. But that's not something you gotta no teacher mode for you gotta actually be like human with them. Yeah. So that's something I'm a big believer in. Like my one um I guess skill is creating relationships with my students so that they do trust me. I mean yeah. even students I have never had before. So I agree with you in that and I always think back to like my teachers. I had a teacher one time in high school and he called me a hussy. What is that? Oh, what's the, oh. Because I was. No, 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 I was standing with a football player in the hallway, and he's like, "It's classy, hussy." Like, and then I just didn't want to do anything in class anymore. I got rude. I said it in front of like all my friends. I thought you so, should have let words. Huh? No, fine. Like, you should have let words. But at the end of the day, different people, different people take right. things different ways. Yeah, they do. I just feel oh, like yeah. as a teacher, you do have to act human because we are human. It's not like we sleep in our closets overnight. <laughs> so I agree with you guys in that sense. So let's see. Teachers can facilitate discussion, open discussions like this. Earn students' trust. Earn students' trust. Be human. What else? Create a sense of community and family in the classroom. Yeah. Stick up for those that aren't sticking up for themselves. Okay. So, if there is someone who laughs or records, actually deal with them appropriately. <clears throat> Miss Bilbo. Oh my gosh, okay. Poor Miss Bilbo. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that this is a good, you know, start to this. But what else do you think teachers can record? What else could teachers do to facilitate? Or what could the school do? Admin or clubs or events? Admin should get to know students. Admin should get to know students. I fully agree. With Admin do not know I mean, I, they really. They should be like Mr. Moore. I mean, like, when we went to the board meeting, they seemed like involved. Yes, he is. Like, when me, Bell, and Isaiah, and everybody. Hey. When we went to the board meeting, they seemed like involved. Quit talking over each other. <laughs> They seemed cool and they seemed involved in what we had going on. Like they, some of them was like going to the art museums and stuff that we had going on. So they involved. I just feel like they just don't really come into the schools and like, like you said, get to know us. Yeah, a lot of times because, um, like on Twitter, you'll see Dr. Hansen, the superintendent. So you will see him all the time reading to elementary school students. In the elementary school, Did celebrating the elementary school principal. So yeah, celebrating middle school parties. I don't know that I've ever seen him. In high school. He used to be rude. I never seen him in high school. Yeah, and this is where he used to be. So okay, so admin can get to know students. What else? Uh, Shepard doing a good job. He was Shepard. Shepard doing. He doing. Mm -hmm. Shepard, Shepard really doing what he I had a conversation the other day. Mr. Morgan is better than Mr. Shepard. Like, can we not fight over this? Yeah. Okay, so what else, like, what events do you think we could do? 
What? Oh, sorry, I had to stop myself. Sorry. How can we further educate others in the building? Have speakers come in from where? If like, well, like, I'm not necessarily sure where you find them. Like, those there are people who speak about like the LGBT community or like different races. Yeah, they speak on them. They having the What? They don't speak on them. They they'll get you out of there. They get you in a heartbeat. Uh, what I don't know how to say it. You gotta add the plus, bro, because it's more. It's more. Yeah. Like, I guess, speaking from what I know, like, getting someone from the Trevor Project or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Trevor Project is a good one. But, like, like. Mm-hmm was just demonstrated. Not everybody knows what LGBTQ plus means. Does somebody know what those letters stand for? Lesbian, gay, questioning. Queer, yeah. So say it real loud for me, Anna. Say it real loud for me, Nicori. Lesbian, gay, LGB, bisexual, <laughs> Transgender, LGBTQ, oh, queer, plus extra. Oh, I yeah. questioning. I don't do queer. I don't just never do work. When the person that I got it from, See? they said they said queer. That's I don't even know what queer means. Who wants to tell me what queer means? Pull it up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do Look this. I don't, I don't know. See, and that was a good lesson too because Ayana didn't know, and a lot of I mean, <laughs> there might not. I made it after you know, the you know, you know, I know, I all right, denoting or relating to a sexual or gender identity that does not correspond to established ideas of sexuality and gender, especially heterosexual norms. So it's like, find your own thing. Mm-hmm. So like, a kind of a mixture of everything, really? A mixture, it could be a mixture. What those pants? That's where you like and 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 what you like. Yeah. yeah. See, and I don't even I mean, I've grown up around the LGBTQ community my entire life. Um, so my mom's best friend when I was younger, before my brother was born, was um a drag queen. And he was also my godmother, father. So So like but, yeah, like it's just like in that type of way, it's like always hard to explain it because. Well, and I think it's up to the person, really, right? I mean, yeah, because like that, because sometimes they might, they might get, they might get their blood they go to this point. Really, like a them, like you were saying with the other person. So a lot of times, it's just as simple as asking that person, like, how do you identify yourself, and then what does that mean to you? Because I think for some people, it can mean different things. It can be the same. Okay, that's a new way to ask. Because sometimes I don't be more. No, I don't know what to say because I don't, I don't know how to ask. So like, you, you know, can ask. I don't ask. want to be disrespectful when I like, hey, like. Because you, know, you know, you can come off the internet. Yeah, yeah. wrong. They might so how do you ask? So yeah. one thing that you can do. And, hey, I don't know. Um, one thing you can do, and correct me if I'm wrong. So a lot of teachers, have you noticed a lot of teachers are asking, what are your pronouns at yeah. the beginning of the year? Yeah. So that's a way you can get the conversation started and then ask, you know, how, how do you identify? And then they'll tell you, okay, well, what does that mean to you? Or can you explain it? In Rose interview, she, they said, um, you know, I don't, I like answering questions. I like educating people because then it just gets everybody talking about it and they understand it. So there's no more like negative connotation that you may have learned from 
home, Anybody. a TV show, friends, you know, you're educating yourself. That's the whole point of education. And this is educating yourself on things that you will actually use in your life, unlike algebra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, can 